we are. Thank you for having us. Yes, wonderful. Yes, amazing. So as a non-profit, it's about Project Soul Shine, spreading sunshine, right? See everybody's soul, help heal, make life better for everybody, right? We want to set up, help talk to you about setting up a project. We make jewelry. Um, we make marlas, okay. lots of jewelry. Yeah, so we've got some very creative, talented, passionate people so we can train some skills in that area mm -hmm. we can sell in america how we can help how we can raise funds for you may i ask him what is the youngest age of some of the girls what is the youngest kind of age that you have helped from eight to 44 eight to 44 wow eight years old yeah yeah. So for in the in the community, is this a problem that once the girls are rescued and repatriated, that it's a shame, you know, it's a thing culturally, it's very difficult, they accept the families or the community, is it a problem? If survivor uh, repatriate from Nepal and she wants to join with her family and community, uh, family sometimes wants, but uh, community doesn't want. And mm -hmm. uh, we are living in that community where um, the community, uh, you know, the networking community is does very highly matter. We can banish from our community if I accept my daughter who is trafficked. But because of the fear from the uh, society, it's very hard to accept to the children. Mm -hmm. So, and if they, uh, they uh, they join their children back to home with them then the community people will leave to speak with them so wow, it's see. very hard for them to accept or our, our whole family can be banished from my village if i accepted my traffic daughter uh, thank you everyone for the for your introduction she will uh, uh, tell you about the uh, sakti samoa this is global first organization that is established and run by a survivor of human trafficking in 1996. Uh, actually, in 1996, there was a very big and mass raid rescue operation organized by India's Indian government, especially in Maharashtra state of India. And uh, at that time, around 500 minor girls were rescued from the several borders of Maharashtra India. These are our working focus area. Uh, prevention, protections and capacity building.